Hi Team 330, I hope you're doing well and running on great coffee. In this 330 AM as a solution series video, I'm going to briefly go over the manual illustration of an exploit based on information we are recording from an open web application assessment. Cross-site scripting is an OWASP top 10 web application vulnerability that we are going to review in the context of our vulnerable web application. Why do we care? This attack provides a vector for users with bad intentions to possibly steal user credentials, bypass other security defenses, compromise our application, server, and possibly our entire network infrastructure. On my screen, we have the Zap Z Attack Proxy from OWASP that has reported the possible cross-site scripting vulnerability. It is currently categorized as a low-risk vulnerability with a medium confidence, as we see here. We have reported this issue to our executive team and our development staff. We are working under the assumption that our perimeter defenses have been compromised and we require an increased level of defense in depth. However, we need to prove that the cross-site scripting exploit is possible. If we transition over to our target application, we'll submit our payload. We'll roll over Hello, click me, and we'll see that it says the site is vulnerable. If we go back to that attack proxy, depending on our risk categorizations for cross-site scripting vulnerability, we can change the risk level. Ours may be a medium, and we'll also update the confidence level to confirmed. We can update the parameter information, the attack that we use, and the evidence. For more information on web application assessments and testing platforms using Azure, please contact 330M Technologies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to strive for greatness.